Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make this super cute red set of nails. So if anyone is interested, then just keep on watching. So as usual, I've already prepped my nails by buffing them and applying a nail cleaner. And now I'm just going in with a nice thin layer of base coat and just applying that across all the nails and then popping it into the lamp for about 30 seconds to a minute. I would like to mention that I do have a press on nail business, everything will be linked down in the description. You can buy all the sets that I show in my videos as well as many many more on my website. I also have a promo code for my cart, it's glamify underscore babe, all in capitals. It does save you 10% on the website, I think it's an amazing company, all of my press on nails are from my cart, so really really do recommend. So here I'm just showing the colours that I'll be using. So this one that I showed is the sparkly colour, then gel polish in the colour 11301 is that red colour that I'll be using today. And then lastly a colour from Blue Sky in a very long number. <laughs> um, that's going to be our nude for today. So now I'm just applying that red colour on my firm and the pinky. And then for the index finger I'll be applying the glitter nail from RS Nails and then for the remainder of the two I'll be applying that nude colour from Blue Sky. I've actually never used that sparkly gel polish and this today was my first time and it looks beautiful. I have no idea why I haven't used it before. Regrets have definitely been made and same with that Blue Sky colour as well. I often buy polishes and I just don't use them. I, I've, I've, like, I love them all. I love gel polish. I love literally having all the colors in the world i love it i love looking at them i just love them so much trust me i am a massive fan of nail stuff but for some reason i have all these colors i just you know you sometimes stick to the pinks or you stick to the oranges and then next thing you know it's like oh wait i haven't touched any of those new red ones i ordered like four months ago so that's basically where i stand so all the colors that i am using today was my first time using it it was super easy to use nothing bad to say i love it i love how it all came out so now you just see me applying a second coat of all the colors that i have applied this set has definitely got to be a really nice one for the bling like i feel like the bling just hits different in this set it's definitely one of my top top favorite sets that i have made so far let me know what you guys think of this set Right, so we are now happy with the two coats and then for the middle finger I decided to create a French, a little French tip with the red so I'm just going in with my nail art brush and that ready orange colour that we've used for the firm and the pinky and I'm just outlining the French and then just filling in. I've recently been thinking about buying wholesale nail art supplies and having a section on my website where I'm able to sell them for a very nice cheap price. Um, if anyone would be interested in that, let me know because I'm not too sure if I should do that just yet or if I should wait a little bit longer. Um, I love nail products, I would love to sell them, crystals, any of that, I love it. Um, and I will also make sure that I do a really, really cheap, reasonable prices for them. I made it and make it as affordable as possible whilst also providing the quality so if anyone is actually interested and would like to see that happen let me know because I am more than happy to do that I just want to make sure that um, there's people who are interested um, if not I will probably wait another few months before I suggest it again and see what everyone says um, unless it's a straight up no then I won't be asking that question again um, but the, for the time being I was basically really thinking about it so I thought I would ask you guys what you guys think about it so in the video, as you can see, I just applied a second coat of that French and then I'm popping it into the lamp. And now we're going in with our top coat. So for the sparkly nail, I decided to just do a glossy top coat. Just a simple, nice glossy top coat because I just wanted it to shine. I don't want to put a matte top coat on it because I just feel like it, it would have been like, what's the point of putting it? sparkly when you're putting matte top coat on to be honest i've never put a matte top coat on a like a sparkly nail like that 
So I am curious to see what it looks like, but I wasn't expect I wasn't ready to try it out in this video anyways. And then for all the rest of the fingers, I am applying a matte top coat. So index finger, shiny top coat. And then for the rest of the nails, matte top coat. So once you're happy with that, I'm popping it into the lamp. I love this part. I love putting a matte top coat because it, it goes in shiny and comes out all nice and matte. And it's almost like it's a different set of nails you've just taken out of the lamp. So as you can see, they're all nice and matte, excluding the sparkly nail, of course. And now it's time for the bling. So for the pinky finger, I decided to create these three little crystals next to each other, creating like a line at the bottom of the nail. But not in the middle, more to the right hand side. So I just created a little line and then with my little wipe I was just trying to rub off the excess of the glue because once you put it in the lamp it's going to stay there and that's going to be our finished set. So I know I usually, when it comes to glossy top coats, I like to put on the crystals first and then put on the top coats. But with matte I feel a bit, I don't know, almost like I'm scared to do it. I'm worried that the matte top coat is going to go on the crystals and it's just going to make them matte and not nice. So. I, for some reason, for the time being, I don't seem to want to risk it. Um, but once I was happy with that finger, I popped it into the lamp. As you can see, it just came back. Um, and then, now I'm working on the ring finger. And that's going to be the finger that's going to have the most crystals. So right at the top, I'm putting a circular crystal. After that, I'm popping a crystal that almost looks like a little droplet. Then popping an even bigger rounded crystal. Followed by a really thin, long crystal going down. I quite like how it looked but I still felt like it was a bit bare so where that big crystal is right in the middle and that droplet I decided to pop down two little crystals on either side of that droplet let me know what you guys think about my crystal placements recently I've been definitely trying to be a bit more creative and a bit more adventurous with it and so far I'm loving it I hope you guys like it too So once you have that nail, I'm popping them into the lamp straight away after doing it because I don't want anything budging or anything. And after that, I'm working on the middle finger, which is our which is our French tip nail. And then I'm applying a big crystal in the middle, followed by smaller crystals going down the nail, creating like almost like a little tiara thing at the top or like a little rim at the top, whatever you want to call it. So I'm placing one big crystal at the top, followed by three smaller 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 crystals going downwards around the rim of the nail where the cuticle area will be and I also like to push them a bit with my finger just making sure that once you actually place it on the cuticle it doesn't actually stick out over the tip so that's why you saw me pushing the crystals down a little but once you're happy pop that one into the lamp and then lastly and then lastly we will be working on the farm so basically we're creating that same thing that we did on the middle finger with that little rim at the top of the nail but because it's a thumb finger and it's a bigger nail overall I decided to use much bigger crystals so I'm using a really big crystal at the top followed by a slightly smaller crystals on the sides and then I dropped it down a bit lower when it came to the crystal sizes as you can see in the video but I'm applying the same amount of crystals as we did on the middle finger but of course the crystals are bigger so they're actually going to fill up just as much space as the other nail did same thing I'm just pushing it all down with my finger making sure nothing sticks out so this is what it all looks like and then I'm popping it into the lamp for another minute just to make sure the glue is nicely stuck and everything is 100% secure And this is the final result. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.